Let's take a little journey to the future. It's all made up. Hopefully it'll never happen, Bezrat Hashem, but you'll get the point. So we're holding in the year 2024 and uh, COVID-24 is out and it's really, really intense. Shem Yerachem, it's wiping out large portions of the world. They never thought it would mutate so fast. And uh, the vaccines have fallen behind the virus itself. And as usual, Israel is ahead and they have some vaccines, but the vaccine that can stop this right now is actually very scarce. The virus is affecting everyone equally. Therefore, they give the vaccine based on people that really need it in the sense of uh, healthcare professionals and things like that. And then it's just a lottery. So out of all the people in Yerushalayim, there's one guy that gets the vaccine notice that he's one. And there's only a few people that have it. Is one in maybe 8,000 people that get it. So this guy Moshe, he starts going down the street from the right side of the street. And as he's going there, uh, there's an another guy on the other side of the street. His name is Getzel. And Getzel is coming from the left side of the street. And he's going across the same road. And as Getzel's walking, there's a little bar that's sticking out there in the road and he smashes his knee into it and he goes, ah, oh, that hurts so much. So he, you know, nurses his knee, holds it and walks, limps to the uh, nearest bench and he's sitting there trying to recoup and all of a sudden, ah, he gets a bee bite on his, on his arm and he's like, what is going on? This is the worst thing in the world. And so he just wants to get a drink on this hot day. So he goes to a store and he digs his hand in his pocket and he realizes that he doesn't have his wallet. And so he sits down on the table and puts his hand, his head on his hand, and he begins to cry. At the same time, Moshe is walking from the right side of the street, the same street to the clinic, and he's getting one of the only shots that are going to help him to live through this crazy, crazy time. And he goes in there, and the doctor says, "I need to take a little bit of your reflexes." Ah, ooh, sorry, did a little too hard, bashed the knee a little bit. And he says, "This is an injection. It's going to hurt a little bit, but..." you know what, it's going to save your life. And so he injects it in his arm, hurts quite a lot. He says, just don't eat for a half an hour. Uh, don't eat or drink or anything like that. And so he goes down to the same store on the same street on a table across from Getzel and he puts down his head and he's crying. And they're both crying from the exact same pain in the knee, pain in the arm and the thirst in their throats. But it's very different. Right? Moshe is crying from tears of joy while Getzel is crying from tears of what's going on. And the Maori name explains that this is exactly what is the Argolis nowadays. Argolis is a Golis of Das. We don't know what's happening. And the Hamtaka Sadinim and the future world is going to be a world when we actually Malay as the Kamayam Yam it's going to be a world that's filled with knowledge. And that knowledge is also going to be this type of knowledge, a knowledge that we're going to be able to understand everything that's going on and see why it's all, all good. And therefore, Hashem should help us that even if we're found in those times that we just sit there and we're just getting battered and bashed, we should remember, though, that there is a reason for it all. And if we were to see it, we would be filled with joy, tears of joy. So it's hard to get to that level, obviously, when we're going through stuff, but just to remember it and to hold on to it until we can to see the good that Hashem has in store for us. Have a good eight day. Thank you.